Okay, I'm going to show you guys today one of Rob Hall's deadlift workouts. His most recent deadlift workout. He's coming up. Um, he's competing at the U.S. Open um, April 15th in San Diego, California. We're just starting off the workout, warming up with safety squats here. Notice the reason we choose safety squats here is simply easier on the shoulders. With all the heavy bench presses, squats, and whatnot the rest of the week. We're going to keep them nice and fresh here. Get the squat pattern down without totally you know, causing any kind of undue stress on the shoulders. And we were actually going to superset these with box jumps, but the the box at the gym, once he got there, looked a little shaky, so we decided against it for the point of safety. So in a perfect world, we got on the, the, the squat here, um, rested about 30 seconds, hit the jump, gone back and forth like that, not going to maximal jump here. But anyways, he's at 8.15 here. This is one of his um, the second biggest deadlifts all time in training here. And he, and, uh, he gets set up, gets his mind right, and let's see what he's got here. Sniffing cocaine before the lift, that's a joke. That's just some uh, smelling salts. Ammonia, my favorite kinds. Um, the smell, the nose torque from Enzer. Um, if there's anything better, please let me know, but I've always had great luck with that. And here he goes, gets nice and ready. Gets full of air, gets down, boom. I mean, that's a pretty easy lift right there. He easily, I think, uh, knowing Rob now, watching him lift, there's definitely a triple there. So, I mean, I would say on a bad day at this point, he's with 840. You know, a good day, he's a lot more above. So, we're going to speed singles here. He's pulling 555 plus 100 pounds of chains. We've already covered chains a little bit. The purpose of them is accommodated resistance. And uh, go back and see some of those videos if you want to know the whole explanation of them. But doing just three singles here, uh, Rob... Strength is ready, so we just want to basically make sure now that it pays off at the meet and not try to overdo it with the volume here because he's put a ton of volume, built up a great base. And part of the, you know, <clears throat> a lot of people watching this may not have ever been strong enough yet to have a grip problem, but once you do have a grip problem, it sucks. So one of my favorite movements to make sure there is no grip problem Rob's ever had when we ensure that by training these overhand deadlift holds 15 seconds and go heavy. So um, generally, if he's someone like this, going to be in the mid, mid eights, they better be holding on to about 430 plus. And he has no problem there with 455. And um, at this point, too, at, for Rob's squat's gone crazy. Every single time he steps under the bar, it's some sort of PR. So, what we're doing here with the chest supported row versus the better rows like before is we're basically just trying to save his back. So, this is uh, 270 pounds in each hand. And with very strict form, you see a lot of bodybuilders maybe do somewhere near this amount of weight, but it becomes a total heave, total body movement, Rob's in this very, very, very strictly. And, um, you know, forget everything we've said in the past, but one of the biggest common denominators of all these people you see successfully getting stronger is, is strengthening that upper back. Okay, here's the rope hammer curls right here. Just grab a rope. Do the hammer curl, it's very easy on the elbows. Um, that neutral grip really builds a brachialis, which is huge for kind of the workhorse or elbow flexion. It's uh, a very big for stabilization on the eccentric of the bench press. And, um, you know, I don't, Rob, um, y you know, for somebody who's not following a strict diet or, um, I mean, he's eating sufficiently to get, I mean, strict diet in the body or since he's definitely eating to get bigger and stronger you see his physique's morphed he was kind of fat before now i don't i'm not saying there's like uh you know washboard abs under that shirt but i mean you look at that upper body i mean he's bordering line starting to morph into the off-season bodybuilder so he's really starting to look the part too and i mean you you damn well maybe look at the best lifter of all time when it's all said and done here the sky's the limit for rob he is not afraid to put in the work